In this video, we are going to discuss about HTTP. In our previous videos, we have discussed that whenever we need to access any website, any resource on the web, we need to type the URL address in our web browser. This request is sent to the web server. Web server is the place where all the resources in the form of web pages and websites are stored. When this request is sent to the web server, then it will send that page or the resource, if it is a file, audio, video, multimedia file, it will send that resource to the browser who has sent that request. The browser that is sending the request is the client and the web server where all the websites and resources are stored are the server. So that is a client server model that the world wide web follows. Now there are many different types of web server software available so that we can easily access the web. We are needing web browser at our end. The server also needs the software. These could be Apache, Microsoft IIS, Nginx or something else that the company thinks is suitable for its requirement. But all these are using HTTP or HTTPS as their default protocol for communicating with each other. The client and the server communicate their request and needs using HTTP or HTTPS protocol. HTTPS is just the secure form of HTTP protocol. As you can see here, all the web addresses will start with HTTP slash colon slash slash and then the complete domain address. So let's see what is HTTP. HTTP is actually a protocol. Its full form is Hypertext Transfer Protocol. It is the most fundamental protocol, the default protocol that is used for transferring of files, audio, video or multimedia. It is an application layer protocol that is used by the TCP IP suite of protocols. It was outlined for the first time by Tim Berners-Lee, the father of World Wide Web. HTTP is a request response protocol. The web browser or the client is sending a request and it is responding to that request. This is how it actually functions. Client submits the request to HTTP. The TCP connection is established with the server. After necessary processing, the server will send the resource, the file that has been requested back to the client. An HTTP request is called a method. These are some of the popular methods, get, put, post, connect. Some of these may be secure, some of these might be insecure. It is always encouraged to use the secure method so that the data that is being transferred is not hacked or authorized or accessed unauthorized by any user. The version of HTTP that is completely secure, that means it uses only secure methods is called HTTPS, where S stands for secured. So in the example that we took just now, HTTP colon slash slash www.tutorialspoint.com. So that is the normal HTTP protocol that is being used. If I want to enhance the security of my website, security of my users, I will use the HTTPS protocol. So my website address would be HTTPS colon slash slash www.tutorialspoint.com and then the complete path name. So in this video, we have seen how HTTP can be used for by the client to access the web pages on its server.